Sorry. All right. Oh, I'm looking forward to this. Also, I still have my flipping pickle, too. Alright. So, if I remember correctly, I think we finished exploring the... Uh, uh, apartment to see if anything changed. So, let's head back to this inner sleep. to see if there's anything I can do. You know. I think we need to get back to this. <laughs> oh, yeah. I need to be ready for this. Oh! Come on. Perfect. Wait, hang on. Oh, it's just the audio, okay. Wait, but there's an item. Yeah, there is an item. Hope I can actually capture some ghosts on camera this time. <clears throat> Gotta keep an eye out for any, uh, items. Wait, no, we just went backwards. <laughs> Silly. to go over here. <coughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah, that's where the doll fell. Okay. God, this game looks great. It's still funny. Nice. Hmm. Something's in here. What's that? Do you see that? The doll.
Don't be behind me, please. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is not gonna end well. Oh, they're weak, okay. Okay. I get the double shot off. Missed it. I gotta remember to do that. <laughs> Easy. <sighs> I wouldn't go near that. Wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey. Okay, really? Really? That was funny. Uh oh. That ain't good. Bruise spreads. I saw the bruise clearly when I woke. The pain is worse than yesterday. The bruise is spreading. A spreading bruise. Yoshi Yoshino Takigawa had a bruise like this, like had a bruise like this before she vanished. According to the notebook left on his desk, Yu was doing some research for Kai Akamura. Amakura. I'm gonna read. <laughs> Oh, you check the ghost list. Please tell me this is updated now. No. N nine still? Wait. 
Where's the kibby? Miku? This is Yoshino Takigawa's diary. They asked me to take care of it at the hospital since her family were all killed in the accident. They didn't seem to feel comfortable keeping it around the hospital. Was it right to accept it? August 10th, Sunny. I heard it's good for the heart to write in a diary and have someone read it. By doing this, maybe I will stop seeing that terrible dream. I'm sad being all alone. If I can have someone read this in some way, maybe I will connect with them. Oh boy. <laughs> August 11th, Cloudy. My family in, in Naoya died, but being alone is more frightening than ever th that harsh fact. More than the accident itself, being the only one living afterwards, waiting endlessly, that was more frightening. Left all alone in total darkness. A sweltering night, but freezing cold. I had a nasty dream. Snow fell on an, an abandoned house. I'm all alone and lost, but they might all be in the house. I can meet them. I sense that. If I go in, I can meet them. They're calling me. But if I go in, I may not be able to return. But if that's what he wants... E? <laughs> bit by bit, I go in deeper. I'm cold. It's getting dark. I can hear a song. Nao Naoya is the in there. Mom, dad, everyone besides me, all in there. They all left me behind, left me and went in. Because I only I survived. It's painful. Is the pain the dream? The tattoo spreads. The doctor says he can't see anything. Overseas, they apparently call emotional trauma after an accident like this PTSD. But I... But I could see it. After sleeping several days, I'm only half awake. Gradually, I come not to know whether I'm awake or asleep. The doctor seemed interested when he listened to my story. Maybe he's becoming more sympathetic. But that dream and the pain are mine alone. The pain is spreading. Am I to blame? Since I'm the only one who survived? But it's not like I chose to survive. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. What should I do? What? Forgive me. That woman's coming after me. I can see her even when I'm awake. I can't take being touched again. I don't want to see anymore. <coughs> All right. About the photo you gave me. Uh-oh. There are marks on her. Don't they look like tattoos? Uh-oh. That was... All right, that was short. The woman who appeared in my dream of the manor, her whole body covered in a blue tattoo. The mother and child who dream... Wait, hold on. Yoshino Takagawa and the woman who attacked me in my dream both had the same tattoo. And now the same pattern is spreading across my body. Ever since she touched me in that dream, the dream, the bruise, the manor, are they all somehow connected to her? Yoshino Takagawa, the only survivor of a plane crash. She went missing from the hospital and appeared in my dream. She attacked me like someone out of her mind. A tattoo-like bruise covered her entire body. And now the same tattoo is spreading across my body. If it carries on like this, then I... Where's the kitty?
Ah, found the cat. Close check. A close test that Miku brought with her from home. Inside our Miku's kimono is a funeral mourning that I have worn. That I have worn just once. And the funeral mourning I have worn just once. <laughs> Kibby. <sighs> Alright, looks like there's nothing. Keep going. All right, we'll go save and we'll continue on. It is rather bizarre how short the nights are. Like that, that I will not deny. It's a little bit strange. I was gonna go into use room, but I was like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try and get through uh, like four hours um every day till we be like till we beat the game. Because again, it says it's 15 hours, but most likely we'll probably beat in like 12. So if we're lucky. Good lord. Well now, all right. All right, so I see an item behind us. So we're back to where, so we're back here. Is this that place from yesterday? Hour two, the manner of sleep. Four point well pattern. Ah, okay. So we can use that on that uh on a door. Yo, McDonald, what's up? Oh, penis. Come on, try me. Try me, bitch. Oh, there's two. Lovely. Come on, get in the line, line up. Easy. You got the switch wheel from recently? Which one? The fourth game or the fifth game? <clears throat> Main of, was it the main of Blackwater? I think that's the fifth one. Hang on. That is the... Yeah, that's the fifth game. Have you played a Fatal Frame game before? Because I'm going to assume you have. Because otherwise, why would you get... Why would you randomly get the fifth entry? You haven't. Uh... I I do recommend you play the first three games. Otherwise, you'll be kind of confused as to what happens in certain things in the fifth game. You can play the fourth one also if you want. That one should also be on Switch. I have heard that the fifth game has something really fucked up in it, though. 
So, I'm curious to see how that's going to turn out. Wait, they ported Revelations on Switch? I didn't even know they ported Revelations to Switch. Well, to be fair, it's not that hard. I mean... I don't see nothing in there. Revelation is such a good game. I'm still waiting on RE. I'm still waiting on RE th on Revel Rev Three. Give us Revelations Three already. We we need it. Dang it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna switch to Type Seven just to kick. That sucks. Uh oh. Damn it, I missed another ghost. Damn it. Game's a penis. Yeah, I hear you. I think that. Oh, we're just not, we're not going to discuss that. Okay. I really need to go back and finish RE2 Remake myself, and I'm never going to touch RE3 Remake. Yep, found it. Perfect. Open Sesame. They fucked up hard on 3 Remake. They fucked up hard. They fucked up hard. Yep, they cut out the clock tower. They cut out one of the most important sections of the game, the clock tower. It's in the game, it's just in a background though. It's like, why? The fuck? Shake it. Alright. Wrong button. Yeah, I, I don't know what they're doing on RE9. If anything, it's high time they finally brought back uh, Jill Valentine. Herbal medicine. Oh, gee, no. No, there's crouching in this game. No. Oh, no. You gotta be joking. How's this been so far? Uh, so I played the first three Fatal Frames. The first one's really good. The fuck? Uh, the first one's good. The second one has dog shit combat. Um, and the story is like, what? The lore is really good though. This game, the uh, everything's been improved. 
and you can actually switch the sticks because in the original game so in the in the first two games the left stick you move with the left stick and you aim with the right stick however when you're in this position we're in first person mode left stick aims and right stick turns the camera however luckily in this game you can swap the sticks when you're in first person Oh yeah, and the games are depre have depressing endings, so there's that. At least the first two have so far. Open the door. Uh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, I recognize this room. Wait a minute. I remember this place. Yeah. It looks nice when it's not all black and white. All right, what do we got here? It looks like an airplane. No, it's a graveyard. That's gonna be another photo we're gonna have to uh, process later. Still waiting for Tecmo to, uh, well, specifically now, uh, um, Oh, sorry, I had a big yawn there. Uh, for Project Zero, for Project Zero, the developers to actually fucking um, remaster the first three games and re-release them. I don't know why they haven't. I need a, I need another key. You're kidding me. I need another flipping key. It's fine. It's fine. Now, peep. People have said that the second game is like one of the scariest games ever made. All right, chicken shit, you want to go? Come on, come on, pussy. Do it, I dare you. Yeah, bring it, asshole. Oh, God, no. He stuck up behind me. Mm -mm. Hell no. Oh, you coward. Where are you? Oh, here he comes. Come here. Got him. Oh, oh, there are two. This is like a... Sleeping Stone 1. Card of the Leaf of the Lithograph Stone, the size of my palm, is a horizontal line for the character for 1. There is a raised bump on the back of the stone, maybe for fitting it into something. Oh, no. Men in White, please tell me that was a go on the ghost list. You suck. Men in white, the men who appeared in the black stained corridor wearing ragged white robes and tall court hats. Was it their voices I heard the corridor walls moaning? What was happening to them in there? Uh, circle jerk. Actually, they were jerking each other off. See, I told you they're jerking each other off. Uh, 
Um, we might be able to go into this. Let's try this room. Nope, we can't go in there. Um, dog doing what's up Alcard? card dog ain't doing much just playing some fail frame three wait where am i going wait where the hell does this lead Actually, there's a door here I could try opening. <clears throat> oh, crap. No. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I missed it. Got it. <laughs> yeah. That 14 film, okay. Wait, really? You can't even interact with this? That's crazy. Is that Buddha? Okay, so we can't go there. Damn it. Oh, let's keep going. I just leave back there, but that's where we started. Uh... You can try upstairs. Uh, unfortunately, no. At least not the, any new ones. Get back. Stay away. Did I just use Type 14? I did. It's fine. <clears throat>
Okay, apparently I nailed it. I have no idea what I did. No. No, booty full is diff. I missed a fucking item down there. It's fine, I'll grab it when I go back there later. You're really not gonna let me run. Here we go. Hold on. Pickle time. Yes, I still have more of that big blue pickle. Come here. Mm. It's so juicy and good. Oh. That's perfect, actually. We're actually going to... We have to go down there anyways. And apart from the camera obscura, evade. <clears throat> when you're caught by a ghost, if you time pressing the shoot button is good, you can evade the attack. Oh, all right. Oh, you want to go, pussy? Yeah, bring it, asshole. Why would you say it like that? Do you hear that? Someone's hitting something. That didn't sound good. Oh, yeah, that's correct. <clears throat> Gotta remember to grab that item real quick. Oh, that's right by this door. Bingo. Sesame. I remember when I was first here, I didn't have. Pull out the camera. Pull out the camera. Pull out the camera. Pull out the camera. Pull out the camp. Damn it. Oh, 
Oh, we're awake already? That thing's getting worse. Oh, I got musty film. Nice. Time to go process that. Also, make sure there's nothing wrong with my uh, apartment. Last thing I need is for some ghoulies to be snooping around. Funny enough, during my break, during my lunch break, I decided, you know, I'm going to go on YouTube and check out four player podcasts and check out some of their really old content. Ironically, all their super old original stuff is still their most popular. Yes. Kurosawa speaking. Oh, hey, Miku. We could go Snoop. Oh, we get to go Snoopy in Miku's room. I understand. Thanks. Also, what was that? Did you guys hear something? I could tell that was on the other side of the other end of the call or if there's something in our in my house. Something sus is going on here and I don't like it. Right, so the cat's not in here. It's probably in the living room. Nope, no kitty. No one here but us hams. Okay, so that is the gr courtyard. Okay, so there the grave runs the courtyard. I remember that. That's the hallway we fought the uh, when we saw the first saw the two guys in the grobes. Now haunted, folks. Where's the kitty?
All right, who's stupid in here? Nope, nothing in here. Hold on, I got an Uncrustable here. A Hungy. Mm. That's a good PB and J. Oh, there you are. Kibby. You looking at? Only me. A bag with a Japanese pattern hangs on the wall. A somber kind of pattern for a girl not yet out of her teens. On the desk are a small dressing mirror and a lamp with a paper shade. Miku made the shade in the cloth that hangs over the mirror itself. On the shelf are a camera and some kaleidoscopes and other little Japanese knickknacks to be collected. No. Okay, good. It's a camera. I thought she had her broken. I thought she had her own broken camera, Skira. Oh, thank God. Miku always keeps her desk so neatly arranged. There is a pile of reference materials and Miku's notes on the desk. She said she could, she had put them together for me. Woman in the photograph, Yoshino Takagawa, 26. She was the only survivor of a plane crash that occurred in August. Following is a comment from a reporter named Oz Ozawa who covered it. When the plane crashed, Miss Takagawa was thrown out of the aircraft and was mostly untouched by the fire. Also, the arbor where she was thrown became a cushion and she was thus miraculously saved. When rescued, her external injuries were mild burns, bruises, and scrapes, and it was determined there was no threat to her life, but it took four days to find her. To find her. She was very dehydrated, weak, and distressed, and she seemed to be suffering mentally. During those four days, she was surrounded by other victims, her relatives, and her, love, and her lover's corpses. Yikes. Next is what I heard from someone at the hospital admissions. After hospitalization, she was extremely frightened of being alone or sleeping. Apparently, she had frightening dreams and would even hurt herself to stay awake. But over time, the amount of sleep grew longer until she spent most of the day sleeping. At first, it, thought, it was thought she was sleeping due to the psychological trauma she experienced, but her condition gradually grew worse and she would sleep for three days straight. When she woke, she would complain of hallucinations saying pain or there are bruises all over my body. As her hallucinations grew worse, she became less responsive to outside stimulus during her waking hours and would sometimes mutter deliriously or sing lullabies. The past several days haven't been, she hadn't woken, and the rest is as new as Ray saw. This is also just a ho hospital rumor, but the staff has a long-standing urban legend amongst themselves about patients like Takagawa, or who they call lost patients. Interesting. Patient disappearances. On the night of the 9th, a patient disappeared from her ward in, in Katsuguro. Kasaragi Hospital, and the police are currently searching for her. The missing person and is the sole survivor of the August plane crash, Yoshi Yoshino Takigawa. Miss Takigawa became emotionally unstable after the accident. She was diagnosed with post-traumatic stress disorder and hospitalized long-term. The hospital's response to her disappearance went no further than we are investigating the details. Miss Takigawa lost all her family in the accident and the concerns that have been raised about her current whereabouts. No, stop. I know it's I know it's my Fuyu. He's dead. I know he's dead. The photo shows Miku with a kind looking young man. Yeah, he's dead. A boyfriend? No, more likely brother and sister. 
she's always been cheerful enough, but I don't think I've ever seen her look quite so, quite this concern, contented. I heard she lost a family member. Could this person in the picture be? Yes. Yes, it is. He's fucking dead. Oh no, where are we going? Oh no. Oh no, I don't want to go exploring right now. Oh, we got no choice, but first. According to Mika's research, Yoshino Takigawa was asleep almost all the time just before she disappeared. After the accident, she slept longer and longer hours, and whenever she woke up, she would hum what sounded like a lullaby. Apparently, the medical community of the buzz with rumors of similar occurrences, hospital patients who disappeared. Is this another of those urban legends? Inside the house was a corridor. It was snowing. There was a line of graves and an even older house looming up above. The narrow corridor on the other side of the door where I heard the moaning was strung with sacred, with sacred rope and paper. The walls were covered with human-shaped stains. There was a black stain left behind when Yoshino Dakigawa disappeared. Did something happen to those walls as well? Probably. The girl who works as my assistant. She's the sister of Yu's best friend. I heard she lost a relative. The photo on her desk shows her with a young man who looked like her brother. She's always been a cheerful person, but I haven't often seen her smile as happily as in that picture. I wonder if the person she lost was someone she was very close to. Maybe she lost someone special, just like me. Yeah, yeah, she, she lost her brother. You know. You know, thick as thieves, those two. All right, time to go explore and hopefully we can capture a ghost on camera. I don't know if this normal bitch camera is going to work, but we all we have is a broken camera obscura with us in the real world, at least. Anyone in here? There's gonna be a time when someone's gonna show up behind, uh, behind me in that mirror and it's gonna freak me out. Oh, there's a kitty. Kippy! No offense, I, I know this is a Japanese tradition for the uh, altars, but you guys do make sure that they're not, like, I assume they're fireproof, right? Just making sure. All right, then asleep. I wonder if I'm allowed to go back in Mika's room. Yep. Oh, hi. Don't mind me. Ray, are you having trouble sleeping? Seems like you're having a lot of nightmares lately. Are you all right? Hug me. <laughs> Joking. What can I do for you? Miku, I was wondering if you could research this photograph for me. Thanks. Miku, uh, oh my god. Okay. Understood. I'll let you know if I find anything.
No, it's raining outside. It's only snowing in the dream. Also, maybe she likes the cold. You ever thought about that? Hmm? She's like me. I like being cold. Well, not that cold, but cold nonetheless. All right, so we didn't find any... We didn't find any ghoulies here. What? Also, in case it was also, uh, if this is Japan, where am I? Oh shit! Oh, pull out the camera! 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 Out the camera. You subduing the subduing song. Oh, so we're inside now. Okay, so we're ba oh, it's basically back at the very beginning of the game. Excellent. But apparently, but something else is here. We got any items? No. Uh, okay. Dude, you fucking missed. He whiffed. What an idiot. Come here. You're stupid. Easy. Sit down, pussy boy. Alucard, you are more than welcome to come to Southern California uh, in the dead of in in the dead of summer, dead middle of summer, and then tell me how you want it during at night. Okay, you are more than welcome, my friend. No. Also, it's not summer. something over here <laughs> shit there was something but it's gone now it must have been in here oh well you're going because of money, fair enough. There's an oblong shaped charcoal brazier. The ashes inside are damp. It looks like it has been used in a long time. Oh, there's a door here. Wait, really? Oh, we're back here. All right. Okay. Oh, shit. Probably up there.
Yeah, she's up there. Okay, more medicine. Oh, you find the spider? Um, yeah. Pray. And use everything at your disposal. Use your wrath powers. Try to go for the four. Got it. Right, this is where we first got the camera. Yeah, that's probably the smart thing to do. <laughs> You could try to. You could also just do a. You could also just parry her. No perfect block and all that. What was that? Should have learned to do that, Chief. Just saying. Uh, fair enough. Nope, can't go here. All right. Nothing over here. I don't get lost in this place. Yeah, that was fun. All right, so that leads back to the entrance. All right.
Ah, oh, bingo. What we got over here? Type 14 film. There's gonna be someone up on that second floor when I come back. I swear to God. Oh no. Oh no. Heh. I don't know. Is it so bad being a weeb? I need to watch Dragon Life. I really do. Um, I th it's about a dragon that gives up his life as a dragon to become a human. And he ends up getting two, ch and he basically has two wives now, last I heard. So, I'm like, alright, well, if a guy's me Alright. It's probably just another harem. Harem. But I assume it's something similar, but I think, I heard it's good. I'm still waiting for second season of Farming Life in Another World. Because that's actually a good, that's actually a nice show. Because he was bored, probably, I don't know. There's a fucking clock somewhere and it's pissing me off. Found it. God, I think it's annoying. Oh, yeah, there's nothing up here. Hmm. Hello. Oh no, it's a projector. No, it's Fatal Frame 2. Don't be the same. You can't escape. Got her. Isn't this? What is this? Was that? There's no way. Oh, okay. It's a different one. I thought for a second there was like, there's no way that's a shift from the second game. Like, okay, it's not. Whew. Type 14.
Okay, we got this shit again. Imagine running into those hallways being chased by ghosts and you see Michael Jack- No. 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 While continuing my research, I stumbled upon the existence of the shrine that is perhaps the origin of the sleeping priestess. The shrine is very small and hidden away within the depths of a mountain. It appeared just as in the drawing. There are normally no worshippers, and according to stories from the small village nearby, it is a shrine where you could offer your pain. When I called upon the head of the family, she said they allow visitors until the snow melts. They carry out a rite here to protect the sacred area of the mountain. Men are not allowed in the rite, but it seems every few years they invite men in order to continue with the bloodline. They call them outsiders. I think I've heard a similar custom. Uh, hold on, wait. You telling me that this is an all-female area and they invite random men to continue the bloodline. That's crazy. The guests who come in when come, who come in winter while the snow falls all hide their faces and pull large bundles of wa on wagons. It resembles a funeral procession. The rite carried out on their on their behalf must be connected to the song of the sleeping priestess. That's crazy. Oh, we found another one. Track. Oh, bitchin. Automatically face ghosts. When your camera is at ready, it will automatically face in the direction of the nearest hostile ghost. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Amazon will be like, okay. There's a lot of equipment. Oh yeah, I forgot I gotta upgrade my stuff. Uh, hello. I didn't even know that the max level that. It I don't have any specials, so it doesn't matter, but fuck it, I'll do one right now. I have no idea. That's what freaked me out also. I'm like, who's counting? Hello? That's bad. Get the fuck out of here! Oh, it just means there's a ghost nearby. Okay. That was fun. Ghosts? Oh, hello. Ah, so it was locked. Okay. We need a uh, Dianthus. Oh, that's cr oh good creepy mask. More Type sixty one film. 
Don't say twin dolls, please. <gasps> item. Item, 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 item. Give me, give me, give me, give me. Oh, it got slow. All right. Bitchin'. Hey, put that in. And we get and we also can upgrade it here. Excellent. Time to head back to that area, to the area before. I am enjoying this game, but it's suffering from the same problem the second game had, where there's not that many enemies um, as frequently as I feel like it should. On the other hand, the combat in the second game is doo doo, so. I hear singing. We have another image. What was that? I forgot that that also uh, does that. And there's a mirror stone. All right, perfect. I can't believe there were only like three or four. I think there were only four mirror stones total in the second game, which is crazy. dead let him go I'm sorry for your loss fair enough that's a doll wasn't there I think there was a doll earlier I saw but But I know where that doll is. Come on, chicken shit. Get fucked. Blood. I love this game. This combat is perfect. Also, the co the combo. Ne also, another thing I will say: the combo never fucking worked in the second game. 
I think I got pulled off once in the first game. But, eh. But this is good. No, that's the second game. That was Fatal Frame 2. Dolls are not going to come to life, all right? I promise. Maybe. Definitely. I don't know. That's not it, huh? Wait, there was a room we were at earlier where I heard hammering. Fuck, where was it? I don't remember where the room was, though. Shoot. You think the doll's gonna kill me? We'll see. That's a really juicy pickle, by the way. It's gotta be over here then. Alucard, I'm gonna ask you something. And it's gonna sound very stereotypical, but I'm gonna ask anyways. Have you ever had escargot and is it good? Escargot. You know, snail. You ever had it? And is it any good? Are you serious or are you just fucking with me? <laughs> that was the, that's the question. Okay, fair enough. Okay. And yeah, I know what. Uh... Is this not the doll? Huh. Interesting. You know what you have that we don't? Actually, that's true. That's not true. I do have good seafood here because I live by the sea. But you, being in France, you get you get really good seafood. Oh yeah, I'm sure if it's cooked when anything's cooked properly, yeah. I hear you. Sifu's good. I have no idea where the hell this thing is. Well, time for me to wander around like a lunatic. I honestly thought it would be here. But I did hear some hammering in a room before, but I don't remember what room.
shoot. I really don't know what to do. I think we're just gonna have to, huh? Well, it just sucks that I really am trying to figure out where the hell I haven't gone. <laughs> but then that's just boring! Gappa. There is a door over here I could try. This might be locked, though. Needs a bellflower. Okay. Oh, I think, I think, I think. It could be over at the bar. It could be over here. I'll just check over there first. All I gotta do is just find a doll, I'm assuming. I'll figure it out. Eventually. Please be in here. I was right. Oh, thank God I was right. Must be over here. Wait, hold on. Oh, I have to take a picture of it from there. All right.
You mentioned something that's been caught in the photo. Oh, it's just a ghost. I got nothing. Well, time to go explore. Fuck it. My poor pea-sized brain is incapable of uh, remembering anything. It could also be in a room that we haven't gone to yet. Maybe there's a new location we can go to. I guess we could go to... I'm gonna see if we can probably go there. That's the only place I could think of, sadly. Screw up, that's where we're going. This way we will go. And if it's out there, then we're gonna have to explore every little nook and cranny in this in this game. God, thank God the controls are fixed in this game. Tecmo, take this game engine and remake Halo Frame 1 and 2 with this. Like, you have all the- you, ha you have everything, just make it better. Uh, No, I need to go up here. was over here. All right.
Hi. Oh. Ah, all right. I got it. Nice. All right, let's get going. I completely forgot about her because, uh, you know, it's been almost 24 hours. I'm gonna save, just be safe. That's not good. Oh, cheese it. Dishes. No items. That was good. Oh God, no. Damn, I'm good. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I probably should have done normal. I'm not gonna lie. Because of how easy the game is. Alright, let's see what's in here. This is a doll room. No, it's a... Uh... Hmm. The candlelit altar is a huge gemstone as big as my palm. It looks like it might be used in some kind of ceremony. Something is reflecting. Something is reflecting light off the above the altar. Oh, I know what that is. We have to climb that ladder. Nice. We're making. Don't you do it! Don't you do it! You little shit! Bring it, kid. You think I'm scared? Gotcha.
Why am I a traitor? A gray diary. I wonder if being impaled hurts. I wonder which hurts worse, having the stake go in a little bit at a time or have it stab through all at once. I wonder if they die if the stake goes all the way through. I wonder if it matters if they die. I wanted to, I, I, want, I want to impale a real priest to sit. Sir? 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 Besides the innuendo joke, sir? What the fuck? Uh oh. We're gonna go back to sleep, aren't we? We're sleeping. Wakey, wakey. Eggs and bakey. Yep. Wait, hold on. Yeah. It's getting worse. Every time I dream of the house, the snake lake tattoo gets bigger. The stabbing pain is worse every day. If things carry on like this, it will eventually cover my whole body. And then the dreams of manner. What do I mean? What do they mean? How can I escape? I have an idea. Tell Miku. The red doll room. In the small room where I heard lullaby red dolls were nailed to the walls. Inside the one of the inside was one of the girls dressed as a shrine maiden who tried to impale me in my daydream. Who is she? And what was she trying to do in there? Say real quick. <laughs> Kibby. <laughs> what do you see, buddy? Oh, he wanted to go in Miku's room. What? Is something in here? Did you really just want to go in the fucking room? You little shit. <laughs> just like my cat, I swear. Oh, he just wants to sleep. Miku? Oh shit, not good. That's bad. That's bad. That's very bad.
Miku, that song. Oh, Ray, good morning. That song? I don't... I don't remember exactly where I heard it, but... I feel like I've been hearing it in my dreams lately. I have no... I don't have any idea what the lyrics mean. Could it be some sort of dialect? Dreams. Oh, shit. Well, I hate to tell you guys this, but... We're really fucked. The lullaby. Mika was singing the same lullaby I heard inside the manor. She says she heard the song in her dream, too. Has she been having the same dreams? Is she being lured into the house, too? Just like Yoshino Takagawa and me? I hope not. She's already been through enough. Leave the poor girl alone. The song she was singing was the lullaby I heard inside the manor. Is Miku having the same dreams as me? She lost a relative to someone close. Is that who she, she sees in her dreams? Just like me. Do not tell me you're seeing Mafuyu. Do not. Do not. What are the dreams about? I don't really remember too well, but I'm singing the song in the dreams. While I'm singing, I start to feel homesick. Like I'm remembering someone important. At the end of the dream, I'm so scared. All I can remember is that I'm very afraid. But that's just the way dreams are, I guess. Now I'm really worried about the state of this apartment. Okay. What about it? <laughs> what the hell? Is that an envelope has been delivered to the flutter box? It's from Ka. Okay. Dear you, I'm sending you a testimony tape I just found about the urban legend. If I give it to you, I know you'll take good care of it. I found several other tapes, but they're quite old, having been dubbed by a dubbed by a gramophone. They're damaged. I'm trying to get them restored now. I'll send them to you when they're done. Lately, I've solely been researching folklore, legends, folk tales, and folk legend. That was both your and Fuyu's research field, wasn't it? It's an interesting world, but I don't want to get too deep into it. How's Bafuyu's sister? Her name's Miku, right? I'm searching everywhere I can, but I still don't know J Junsei Takamine's whereabouts. Takamine, Takamine. Maybe he was spirited away too? If you got anything, let me know. Isn't, that isn't Takamine a name from the second game? Mio's health is not good, so I put her in the hospital. Oh no, she only wakes once every two days. And then for only a couple of hours at a time, I've got to hurry with my research. Don't tell me you're going to kill off Mio. No. No. Come on. Why you gotta do this to her? No! Stop! Yeah, it's Mio Ak Amakura. Manner of Sleep A. You have a tape. Oh, that's right. You have a tape deck in your room. No, he's dead. Oh no! Don't skip. Damn you! I need to make sure we're not haunted, you fuck! Oh my god. Mafuyu Hinasaki. Written in K's letter was the name of Miku's brother, Mafuyu. 
He was a friend of Kai and you who disappeared while on the tra trail of a missing rider. Yeah, Junsei Takamine. No, it was the first game. People say he was spirited away. Yeah, he was. I knew Miku had lost a relative, but I thought he had died. She never spoke about her brother. That photo. Is Miku still longing for the brother that she lost? Probably. You know, I, I mean, I don't blame her. Oh, here it is. In my dream, I saw my mother. Uh huh. In that manner. What was that? Inside, there was no shrine. It was cold. Snow was falling. I could hear a song. There were so many people going into the shrine. It, it was like a funeral procession. I could smell incense burning. Everyone was hiding their faces. My mother was among them. No matter how many times I called her, she kept going further and further. And just before the door shut, it was like I was going to be left all alone. I saw it every day. I went in just a little bit. If I went any further, I wouldn't be able to come back. But I thought I could meet my mother in there. All right. <clears throat> so here's what I'm getting at. The man of sleep. Drag people in who are depressed and missing someone they've long lost. And uh, and slowly absorbs their life essence through the curse, I guess? I don't know. <coughs> Go find some ghosts. Hey, you in here? Yes, yeah, she is. Ray, what's the matter? Here we go. Miku, that person in the picture on your desk. That's my older brother. He's been missing for quite some time. No, he's not. He's dead. Stop lying. I didn't know. I'm sorry for bringing it up. I was just wondering. Wait, is the cat there with her? Wait, hold on. Beautiful. All right, moving on. <clears throat> That's a really blue pickle. Mm. That's not good. That's really not good. Something's here. Something is 100% here. I saw that filter. I know that filter. There's a ghost. Oh, guys, guys, look, look, look. I suck you son of a bitch. There was something there. I saw something.
Sorry, I just can't. Sorry. Anyway, there's more photos we can develop real quick. <laughs> Yeah, so we have three photos, so let's develop them. A shrine maiden. The Claren, hello, hello, hello. Dude, you just missed it. There was a ghost in my apartment. Again, no audio? And wait, what? How'd you get in here? Kibby. I have photos for you. Trouble sleeping? Do you need to sleep in here with me? Yes, please. Ray, this is it. Here you go, Ray. I thought you might have <laughs> some. I thought this might have some connection to that photo of the passageway. Buried mummies. It's been reported that the process of rebuilding a Kukaiji, Kukaiji Temple, which commenced last month, many mummies have been found in the walls of the hallway. In the walls of the area called the Shadow Hallway in the Kukaiji Temple, sorry, <coughs> coughing. Kukaiji Temple, there are stains in the shape of humans, but when the hallway was restored, someone knows that there was something like a root of a tree coming out of the wall. Digging out, it turned out to be a mummy. In the other stain areas, many more mummies were found, and quite a commotion was raised. The Kukai Temple insists that they are enshrined saints, but, can t but certain observers argue that they have been killed and sacrificed. Many bones found in ruins. On the 8th, in a survey of an ancient castle ruins on the northern part of the, of the prefecture, a large number of human bones were discovered in the ground. Stacked tombstones were excavated from the center of the castle, an area thought to be, co to be a courtyard. Bone after bone was discovered beneath them. <clears throat> Sorry. It was believed they were buried after the castle's completion to protect the plan of the castle location of the treasure. Or perhaps those who built the castle were killed as a sacrifice. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Below is a summary of what a newspaper reporter told me about the coverage of the abandoned house. I didn't have time before, so please take a look at take this as a reference. They say there were several villages around the manor until the 1900s, but today only the abandoned house remains. Even the landowner does not know when or why it was built. Now, the only area around the entrance is left, but originally it was a, it was a huge manor, deep and strangely shaped. It seems an old 
it seems on old maps, a shrine is occasionally drawn in, but now there exists not so much as a trace of it and not much is known about it. But the outlying mountain, but the, on the outlying mountains, it seems a myth-like story is told that is connected to the other world. <clears throat> That's a good pickle. <coughs> the rumor of the ghost manor may be due to the myth, but since long ago, the abandoned house has been, has been called a ghost manor. Many people visit it just because of the rumor. The rumor is that you can meet the dead at the manor, and further, that the dead you meet will summon you to the other world. The rumors, the rumor's origins are said to be in the se seances that were held in the shrine there, but that's merely a rumor too. In any case, I think the story of the mountain connected to the other world is the source of the rumor. You can ask me whatever you want, okay? You guys sleep here with you? Is that an option? It seems like you're having a lot of nightmares lately. Yeah, I am. Are you all right? No, no, I'm not. What can I do for you? I got some photos for you to research. Understood. <laughs> I'll let you know if I find anything. It's raining again. It's raining again. It's raining again. Dude, Miku is absolutely depressed. <clears throat> it's raining again. I think I gave her all the photos. All right, let's keep going. Nope, nothing in here. Alright. <clears throat> Time to continue on. That was a really good pickle. Dream again. I thought I wasn't going to have it anymore. Why? Oh, we get to play as Miku? Oh, let's fucking go. <laughs> but we don't have the camera. No, I don't have the camera. No! No, not this piece of crap. <laughs> No! 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 We're back at the Himalaya Mansion! No! 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 Oh! Oh! Shit!
We're playing. We're, we're literally replaying Fatal Frame One right now. That's what we're doing. Shit, soup. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> well, on the plus side, I do remember the layout of this area. More, I do remember the layout of this area, and it's not that big. I cannot fucking believe we're back here. Remember when I said I hope they just remastered me? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Yes, it is. The original camera obscura. I need this. But I don't want to remember anymore. Yeah, I know, but unfortunately God says fuck you. Oh, I started with start six of one. Okay. I cannot believe we're back here. I can't believe we have the camera obscura again. I mean, I know it's a dream, but still. Well. Interesting. You're not going to let us go over there. All right. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, we're back here. Uh, please don't have the ceiling ghost come back. Why are we here? We don't tell me you miss your brother that badly. Like, I get it. You're alone now. <laughs> engraved in the pedestal is the same number of pains as engraved on the sleeping stone. <laughs> Well, we can't go that way. <laughs> she still got it. <laughs> Oh my god, the simulacrum mask. Sacred stone. Oh, we can slow them, okay. Since the ghost move more slow since the ghost move more slowly, it's easier to dodge attacks or aim the shutter chance or fatal frame. You cannot use sacred stone if your sacred stone meter drops to zero. If you could do it as a ghost or receives damage, the sacred stone meter replenishes. Okay, so we have to take damage. Okay. The higher your level, the faster it replenishes and the longer its duration. Let me guess. Our camera is a different level, isn't it? Wait, no. Oh, wait, here we go. Ah, okay. So everyone's is different. I see. I see. And apparently, it looks like they, I think they share all the equipments too. That's pretty helpful.
It's just a rope. That's new. Uh, whoa, wait a minute. That ain't right. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on. That ain't right. That is supposed to be way over here. <clears throat> so an invisible chain is what you're saying. What's up, Vitalik? No? Ooh, yeah, Kasha. <laughs> oh, is it gonna be one of those puzzles again? What is this? This is Fatal Frame 3. And we're reliving our moments from Fatal Frame 1. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Oh, this will be easy. Hang on. Skadoosh. A skadoosh. Wait, no. Wait, hang on. Skadoosh. Skadoosh. Bing, bang, boom, bomb. Easy fucking clap. <gasps> Much easier now that because it's a because it's just a pentagram. No, stop! Not Curie's room. Come on. Uh, yep, that's Curie. Holy night? That's a good question. <clears throat> so it it could potentially be finishing up this game, but if I can finish this before Halloween, I have a few uh, games in mind. Uh, you know, some uh, some really good ones. You know, they're actually pretty good. Nothing long. I'm most likely gonna play like so, like three short games. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it is on a Thursday night, unfortunately, so I can't stay up that late as much as I want to take Friday off from work, but no. <clears throat> snow is falling. It's a quiet night. This could be the last snow of the 10 years of changing seasons I have watched on this window. That is so depressing. As I watch the snow, I get the feeling that something has passed. Finally, I've severed all my attachments. I'll give my body over to the ropes and seal the gates. Kizuna Himuro. That's not Kyrie. <laughs> Why you gotta make me relive these memories? Oh, don't make me, don't tell me about to relive the memory of, <laughs> of Hafuyu, uh, Where are we going? No! 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 Yeah. 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 Yeah, where, uh... We saw Kyrie's memory of, uh... Yeah. Don't say that. No, stop. No, 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 no.
She's about to, she's having a panic attack right now. Is it, wait, is that? No, no. That has to curate. That's not Mafuyu. That's not Mafuyu. That's not Mafuyu. That's not Mafuyu. That cannot be Mafuyu. Please do not be Mafuyu. Don't. Don't. Even better. Thank you. We're dead. No, 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 we seal, no, you, you close the seal, you are the seal, no, no, oh, we're dead, why is she back, Kyrie, please back off, Bye, Kyrie. This place is horrible. I really don't want to go past these doors. I really don't. Yeah, I know, I know. Okay, good news, we can't go over there. That I will not let her go through again. What is up that's causing that's dripping red liquid? Seriously, what is that? What is that? <gasps> oh no, no, she knows he's dead. She just misses him. Like she's absolutely, she's, she's depressed about it. Huh? She doesn't want to be here anymore. All right, all right, we'll leave. I'm not going to put the poor girl through any more suffering. For now. For now. <clears throat> Mind you, this is not going to be the final game with Miku. From what I've heard, she is in the fifth game. No, shut the fuck up. She needs therapy. There it is, I see it. There's the item. <laughs> okay. He's not here. Let him go. Let him go. He's gone. Where is this going? That is not the fireplace room. What the fuck? What? What? What is this? What? What black magic fuckery is this? Over here.
We're back at the manor of sleep? Yo, what the fuck? We're back at the manor. That's the... They trolled me. They fucking trolled me. They hid this entire section off until we entered this door. That's insanity. That's lunacy. And we're still gonna have to go through that eventually. Dude, this place is a fucking... Tr Dude, this place is absolutely wild. I love it. <laughs> Okay, more medicine. <gasps> Let me check something quick. No, we don't share inventory, okay. <sighs> Can I go in here, please? This game's a penis. All right, so that opens that door there. Might as well unlock it. Okay, so we can't open it yet. Irrelevant, though. <laughs> what did it say? In one of the pictures is an illustration of some kind of aesthetic. His body covered in what looks like a tattoo. On the next page, the, it shows the aesthetic being swallowed by a snake. Maybe this is the book's illustrating local myths or folktales or something? We have to push this out of the way. Only a man can move it. Why do I get the feeling we're gonna play as Ray or not Ray? We're gonna play as um uh, Yu's best friend at some point. You know, Mio's uncle. Misogyny. Yeah, I know, right? <gasps> There's only one, dude. <laughs> That's not Miku. What, so we got, we're only allowed to watch Ray wake up? We can't watch M Miku wake up? Was that Miku's dream? But why? Oh, okay. It seems Miku's having the same dream too. Yeah. Human columns, the mound of graves in the courtyard inside the manor. In the ruins of an old castle, the bones of people thought to have worked on the construction were found under the mound. Shrine carpenters were buried alive as sacrifices? Did the same thing happen there too? 
I sure hope not. Well, can say that Miku is technically in the fifth game. I don't think Miku dies, so. The abandoned house. Miku tells me the house I went to is, a, is famous for being haunted. They say it's a place where people can meet the dead and that the dead lure people to the other world. The words have stayed in my mind. What if you really is there inside that manor calling out to me? What will I do? Let him go. Human shaped stains. Sacred ropes were hung along the narrow corridor behind the door where I heard the moaning and the walls were covered in black human shaped stains. There was a similar stain left behind after Yoshino Takagawa went missing. I read in one of the papers about modified bodies being discovered behind the same kinds of stains. Inside the core house, inside the house, in the courtyard surrounded by a corridor, radiation. Yep. Was a tree wrapped with sacred rope. Around it stood straw dolls and skewered on stakes. Countless dolls in the snow. What could be the significance of this eerie scene? The house in Mika's dream is different from the one I've seen. The corridor is hung with rope, the blood altar, the woman torn apart. Yeah, that was Kyrie. Miku has a memory of these things. Is the place somehow connected to Miku and her memories of her brother? Yeah. Yeah, it is. She too wanders the house in her dreams looking for Mifuyu, her brother. She's always been cheerful and strong. What happened to her in the past? Is she still wounded by what happened? Just like me? Probably. The girl who called Miku back when she tried to leave her dream. Your brother's here, she said in a sad, mournful voice. Miku was stunned by what she heard. The girls who appeared in my daydream at the deserted house I visited in the photography for assignment. In the dream manner, they were in the room where the red dolls were nailed to the wall. Who or what could they be? If the manner I saw that day was the one I dream about, the one I heard about from Miku, does that mean they were carrying out some kind of ceremony there? Impaling people? This old projector was in the house I saw in my dream. The images inside showed girls dressed as shrine maidens. Someone must have been recording what was going on inside the manor. Oh yeah, do I now have anything on the ghost list? Yay! Hidden carpenters. Shrine carpenters who were, who were sacrificial pillars after the manor was built. Finally! <clears throat> Alright, let's go hunt for ghosts in my own house. I'm watching the screen for any filters because it will have that weird slight gray uh, static filter over it if there's a ghost nearby. Not that. That's just a that's just light. That's just a light issue. She's not downstairs, so she's probably in her room. Sorry, every time I go upstairs, I have to do that. I don't see Miku anywhere. Oh, she's always awake right now. Maybe she's still in her room? Maybe, maybe, but before we do that, uh... Oh, there's a letter on the kitchen counter. It looks like it's from Kai. Mika must have brought it in and left it here. From f okay. <laughs> Dear you, have you listened to the three tapes I sent before? I'd like you to listen to them before you read the rest. What three tapes? You only sent one. Maybe you won't believe it, but I've ha I've had the manor sleep dream. You gotta be kidding me. First, I thought I was just thinking about the manor too much after I've listened to those tapes and to Mio, I'm displaying the same symptoms. In the dream, I'm in a snowy manor. I don't remember it well, but it resembles the house I got the camera obscura from. I get a bad sense from the manor, like it's like just like the testimonies. The only difference is I was pursuing Mio in the manor, and Mio wasn't dead. Sir? That's not Mio. That's Mayu. If the urban legend of the manor of sleep is true, I can wake Mio from her dream. That's oh. Fuck.
Oh, Mio's fucking dead. You might as well kill both twins in the second game then. If we make a little sense, I feel like I'm getting closer to the truth. Regards, Kai Amakura. I'd go look through his room. But before we do that. Let's go hunt for ghosts. It's going to be something like really obscure probably. So we might not see it. Or it's going to be like a brief glimpse around the corner out of my eye. Anything here? Found a kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Shame Ao's in here. But what else is new? I, okay, we have nothing to, uh, we have no film. All right, no ghosts this time. Excellent. Gonna be, that fucker's gonna be standing in, in behind that door, right, behind that current again, I swear to God. <laughs> I'll get him. One day I'll get that motherfucker. One day. Miku? Ray, I'm sorry. I, I don't feel so well. I couldn't sleep. Did something happen yesterday? I just had a strange dream, that's all. Please do not worry about me. By the way, a letter came for you this morning. I left it on the table. And then there's this. Huh. Oh, well, I gotta go to use room. All right, let's go to use room. We'll find the two tapes and then listen to them. Maybe here on the desk? Ah, here we go, found him. Dear you, I got a tape, okay. I got a tape on the Manor of Sleep urban legend from a source at the hospital. A psychiatrist has recorded the medical condition to, of a patient. There are a lot of background noise and it was originally recorded on a gramophone, but the content is great. If you're quite, it, it, it's not quite anthropology, but I think you'll be interested too. It's a lot of, it's a lot to ask, but I'd like you to find out the, about legends or cases about missing people similar to this one. Well, right, so we got two tapes we can listen to, and quickly glance around the flipping uh, premise for any ghoulies. Check on Miku real quick. like you're having a lot of nightmares lately are you all right i don't want to be asking you that it's raining again it's raining again Jeez. 
He is utterly miserable. Oh, I feel bad for her. All right. Nope. Okay, he's not. He's not there. Right. Right now, at least. Where's the kitty? Eh, it's probably back in Meeker's room. I wasn't paying attention. Up in here. I need to go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. I'm also going to get myself a snack. So now's a good time for everyone to make a pee pee, make a poo poo, get a snack. Do whatever the hell you need real quick. I will be right back. Let's get back to the end of this. <clears throat> Night Owl card. All right. Where was I? Um. Oh, right. We were looking for ghosts. There's the kibby. All right, so there's no ghost, so we can continue on to the next night. But before we go that, we have to listen to the things, so. God, that's a really good cookie. Not yet. Not yet, buddy. In my dream, I saw. Not that one. sort of a lullaby nursemaid song uh -huh. the child kept stabbing at the doll when I came to it, it always hurt there was always pain here can't you see it look it, it's right here it's true it kept spreading <laughs> They collapsed all over. In the hallway, in the room, everywhere. Yes, it was a man in white clothes, but he had no face. There was a hatchet and blood on the walls. I always ran as hard as I could, so far. Lots of hands came out of the walls, but when I came to, somehow I was the one chasing the man. That's right. 
that woman. Yesterday she touched me. It was painfully cold. Like inappropriately so or I woke up, <laughs> I'm sorry. My body was like ice. <sighs> this tattoo. Right? <laughs> Yeah, we'll go for another. Yeah, maybe about another hour. <laughs> no, call it maybe 30 minutes. We'll see. Yeah, so I'll get. We'll see how long. Let's see what he plays this time. Could be Miku again. Or it could be K. <laughs> or Kai. However, I think it's K. Or maybe some random guy. And... Is that you? <clears throat> Was that K? Who are we playing as? We're playing as. Wait. Who's this? <clears throat> oh my god, no! Damn it. <clears throat> How did you even get here, man? That's not Mio, that's Mayu! He's not chasing Mio, he's chasing Mayu! <laughs> or maybe it is... No, I think that, that has to be Mayu. <laughs> But he doesn't know that Mayu's dead, so maybe it is Mio. Did you hear that? How many days has it been? How many months? How many years? Many outsiders have been brought here, but none of them are like him. He said my hair is beautiful, but no matter how much I arrange it, he'll probably never know how I feel. All I could do is comb my hair and wait for him. That way, when he comes back with his camera, he'll take my picture again. Who? <laughs>
Uh oh. Oh, this is bad. Oh, goody. Uh, don't mind me. I won't let you go. Yeah, I, you are. Are you shitting me? That is actually bowl. Okay, so the hiding mechanic is actually dog shit in this game. Good to know. It serves no purpose, so it's just run. We're just gonna bum rush through with this guy. <clears throat> Really? You're kidding! Wait, there's another door over here. That better not be what I think it is. Imagine if he fell right now. <laughs> I 
I'm not a fan of his hiding mechanic. I really do hope the fuck all we find a, a camera obscura for him. Oh, come on, you fuckers. You're joking. I guess we gotta find a butterfly key or something. Really? Okay, sure. Okay. Friend of Yu's researching the manner of sleep. He and Yu were researching an urban legend about the manner of sleep. It has been so, the same manner I've been seeing in my dreams. He started looking into it because his niece Makoto, who felt prisoner to her dreams about the manner of sleep. Maybe it is Mio, and she's chasing Mayu. I wonder if my if we'll see Mayu then. But he got sucked into in the course of his research and is now trying to find a way to escape the dreams. Inside the room decorated with kimonos and locked from the inside was a ghost of a woman with long flowing hair. Around the mirror stand, clumps of her hair had been pinned to the wall. Had she been waiting for someone there all the time, all that time? Yikes. Wait, I know this room. Oh, we're here. Huh, bitchin. Time to go, time to go, time to go, time to go, go, go. What? Shit. You don't know one. <gasps> Mm. 
There she is. I can't tell if she's wearing a kimono on top or she's topless. Nope, I think she's topless. Hot. Okay. Okay, now we just gotta wait for her to leave. It's in my eyes. Okay, 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 okay. Looks like that wall could be for something, but probably not yet. could try this way. I'm not going up there. Oh. Down to go, down to go, down to go, down to go. Let go of me. Anything over here? Oh, there is. That's useless! Don't have the camera obscura. The film's useless, Chief. You gotta be kidding me. It's been nearly half a month since I entered the mansion. It's still snowing outside. Once the snow melts, I'll be parted from Kyoka and most likely would never be able to return. Men are not needed in the manor. If necessary, I could run away, but if possible, but if possible, I would like to take Kyoka with me. That feeling is what keeps me here. 
Sometimes worshippers from excuse me, nearby villages come here. All of them cover their faces and head into the shrine. Today's worshippers seemed like a woman. She was holding a child-sized bundle, and it looked as if she was crying. I can also hear that lullaby. I wonder if the ceremony is like some sort of funeral. And there's always... Oh, he also is slow. Okay. Okay, we're good. So there's something over there, but we can't get over there yet. So. <clears throat> Apparently there's something over here. Where are I? Isn't that where we... Oh, we gotta go back there? Oh, you penis. You giant donkey chode. And that just leads back to Him Himuro Manor, so we don't want to do that. If I could check out the rest of the manor, I would, because there are some locations that we can unlock. It's so strange that you can't... Weird that you can't go over here, though. Alright, so we have to head back... Uh... Yeah, we have to head back to the kimono room. It's not that far, I have the camera. Everything's gonna be all hunky dory. Plus, I have Type 61 with me, so I'm even better. Now, can I beat the com now? Can I beat that ghost with the in the kimono with the multiple hands? Probably not, but hey. But hey, what the hell? to fight. Oh. Oh, she just wanted her photo taken. There she is.
sorry. I've been waiting, she said, when I caught her image on the camera obscura. Did this camera once belong to the man she was waiting for? Maybe he left her there in the camera here to set up for someone. I'm gonna assume that he died. Hey, poor guy. Uh, love is a powerful force, ladies and gentlemen. It makes you do stupid, dumb, crazy, insane shit. Like, get married. Ha 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 I'm kidding. I don't think this is gonna open. Wait, that can open. Then that means that both these doors can't open. Right. Well, we don't need to go over there, so. There are some objects we can move around. But I don't think. Wait, maybe they, maybe I can. Hold on. There maybe I can go to the southern area because there is that um drawer I can move. That is in the way. Oh no. Oh good, fellas, fellas. Fellas, one at a time now. This camera. But if I can actually move, I think there's two shelves I can move. I don't know where the uh, where the second one is though. I know where the I remember where the first one is, but I don't remember where the other one is. No, okay, so I can't go over there. <clears throat> he does seem rather young to be an uncle, to be Mio and uh, Mayu's uncle though. Maybe he has like a thousand older siblings, or maybe his sister's like 10 years older than him. I don't know. He's on his tippy tippy toes. I think when we wake up, I'm going to call it. It's not enough.
Hmm. Interesting. Anyways, I'm just looking for a butterfly key. Oh yeah, it's over here! I spy is the word taboo. No! No! The tattooed priestess, oh, must lose all of her attachments to this world during the rite of com the commandment. For this reason, those who enter the Kuze shrine must be sure to co cover their faces with masks and carry out the ceremony without feeling. It is especially forbidden for men to enter the Kuze shrine without concealing their faces in order to keep the priestess's heart from stirring. I thought, was, I thought they meant the taboo tomb from the... Come on, a woman can do that too, okay? Women are not that weak, on average. Offer up the Tome of Instruction written in the ink of the etching of the soul. Looks like there's a third floor. Okay, that's a bit early for that, but uh, I'll take it. Man, let go of me. Biden's he's a pain in the ass right now. It doesn't help that I can't actually hit the damn thing. There we go. That was kind of annoying, but okay. <clears throat> Oh, so there was no point in me coming up here other than the Type 90. Got it. But hey, at least we have Type 90 for later. No effect. It has no effect. Climb it up, climb it up, climb it up, climb it up.
penis. Well, whatever was gone now. Phew. That was close. All right, so now that we have the butterfly key. To head back to the kimono room. Please stop with the crimson butterflies, okay? That's really depressing. Mio? Is that? Oh shit. Was that? Did I just see Mio over Mayu's dead body? <laughs> oh no. There's a ghost. I'm not going over there. I am not going in there. Where else are you fuckers? Where are you? Oh. Did you see that shit upstairs? Did you see that shit? Oh, this is gonna be a fucking reckoning tonight.
Okay, we're not going to bother Miku. I swear to God. Oh, shit. You better come out right now. Oh no. Who's in there? I didn't even know she had an attic. Yeah, this is a great idea to do in the middle of the night when it's raining. It sounds like something saw. Oh, hello. Well, we're one hundred percent haunted. Please don't touch me. Please don't grope her. You're joking. It was all a dream? Or was it? Oh yeah, how's that bruise by the way? Yeah, there it is. Dream? More like a nightmare. I get the feeling that that K is gonna find out what happened to Mayu, and like the and Ray's gonna find out what happened to the Mfu to Mafuya. Yeah, she's still in there. Okay. The problem is I don't know what triggers anything. Oh, Ray, you're still awake? Ray, this is it. We weren't able to find anything on it. You can ask me whatever you want, okay? Is your brother dead? Ray, you've been working too hard. You should get some rest. It's raining again. Okay, so we can look into so we can grab used books later, but take a look around real quick. That cat is not happy. He saw something in there.
There's something in here. Wait a minute. Don't be in the closet. Oh! Oh, it just closed on its own. Okay. But it saw something. What the fuck is that? That ship been up in there, but could there be something in this closet? <gasps> you fucking asshole! You fucking piece of shit! You fucking bitch. <clears throat> but I definitely saw something. Cats don't act like that unless they're, so unless, you know, they're, they see you react to something. I promise you that there was definitely something there. I'm gonna look something up. Hang on. I haven't, I don't see anything. I think we're good. Nah. But that cat saw something. Was that was not a happy kitty. But it sure scared scared the shit out of me. Oh, you want to go into Miku's room? Miku's room? You want to go into Miku's room? Oh, hey, Miku. Oh, no. Please don't go. <laughs> she sleep. Shit, she fell asleep again. Damn it. Okay, okay, I'll let you in. I'll let you in.
is it just me or is the doll's hair a bit longer? I'm gonna keep an eye on that doll. Anyway. Anyway. We better go check over here. I can't believe Miku's asleep. Damn it. Yeah, no, go back. I'm gonna look for the book, thank you. Maybe there's a book in here. Here we go. The camera obscura is a device used to capture other world made by the occultist Gunahiko Asou. From the 19th to early 20th century, he tried to communicate with this to, with, with and get proof of this other world. The term occultist refers to people involved in this movement to verify Eastern thought using the contemporary Western technology. Gunahiko Asuo is a prime example of such an occultist. The camera obscura was one of his consequential experiments. He was he modified the, modified the at the time still rare camera by adding a special lens and film. He was supposed to capture unbelievable things normally invisible to the naked eye, like a so-called different space interval and spirits and ghosts. They are very rare nowadays, but apparently these cameras are still traded among curio dealers. Most have been broken, and we have lost the chance to see the other world as well as SOS achievements for eternity. Unfortunately, like an idiot, you know, Miku broke hers. And what happened to the one that Mio had? I don't know. The spirit world. The device shown here was left by Akihiko... By Kunihiko Asuo, he used it to substantiate the existence of and communication with the spirit world. He was a brilliant scientist and philosopher, and by appropriating Western culture in the late 19th and early 20th century, he combined new technology with this theory of the spirit world to prove its existence. It is said that a few of his devices were able to capture an unbelievable existence from the spirit world, but posthumously from the, that single beginning, his devices became a fashion item among a dilly dilettantes and were scattered about the country one such device is this projector having completed the experimental stage of the camera obscura a camera that photographs the other world to see above he created a screen upon which to project the special images captured on the film the records say the images were projected that could not be seen when they were photographed Skewered dolls. In many regions, particularly in the mountain areas, there remains a folk practice of dressing up dolls that they made from straw, earth, or cloth and worshipping them as idols. The doll in the picture was reported by the Iwati Iwa Iwa resident. It is called a kushimi, and when someone dies in the village, they weave the hair of the deceased into the straw and have it wear his or her kimono. The doll is fixed on skewers and put before a shrine at the edge of the mountain. The doll is enshrined for up to one month after death, and after that period passes, it is cast into the river behind the shrine together with various offerings. In this region's tradition, there is said to be a cave in the mountain connecting to the land of the gods. The dead who become, Kushi become Kushimi stand between the village and the mountain, and they take upon the village's evil and head to the land of the gods. In a neighboring village, there is said to be a similar doll called I Igushi, but this one is the spirit of a person who died young and is is deified in the mountains. One in one interpretation, both village and mountain have a protective deity standing in the border between people and gods. In another sense, burdening the dead with evil or deifying the spirit of the young in a mountain con con connotes human sacrifice. Interesting. All right. We'll go up here. Take a little gander. A spirit stone radio. No, come on! Not this thing again! As mentioned previously, occultist Kunaki... 
Kunihiko Asuo was an actively appropriated Western craft with the special goal of, exp of explicating ancient Japanese belief in and legends of the other world. It is said he finally was able to establish commun communion with the other world. The first example of this was the other world crystal radio signal receiver, otherwise known as the Spirit Stone radio. Spirit Stone radio's signal si Spirit Stone was a name of his colleagues used later. In Dr. Asuo's research materials, it is usually simply referred to as the crystal. The principle of the crystal radio is that it utilizes a special wave detection property of a crystal to pick up the appropriate band of wavelength. Asua focused on that fact that stones have been known from ancient times to carry occult properties. If he could find a special crystal, he he the thought perhaps he the thought perhaps he could capture signals from the other world. I think that's a translation issue. It is said his experiment was a success, and the records note that he was able to capture sound at a range outside of the normal broadcasting. The documentation of the sound behind has been lost, but Asuo's associates left behind several testimon testimonials saying they heard words of the past and words of ghosts. Inside the manor in the courtyard surrounded by a quarter was a tree wrapped in sacred rope. Around it stood straw dolls skewered on stakes. According to an old book on folklore, the practice belongs to an old folk cult. The dolls stood in the border between the mountains, the divine, and the village, human, functioning as protective deities or amulets. What, in, what is there in the courtyard beyond the door? Gunihiko Asuo, a scholar of the occult that lived in the second half of the 19th century. His research, known as mystical science, attempted to use modern Western technology to explain old Japanese folk beliefs about the other, about the other world. The first of his experiments to bear fruit was the Spirit Stone Radio. This used crystal radio technology and was able to receive supernatural sounds that normally could not be detected. The products of his research, the camera obscura, the Spirit Stone Radio, and the projector were much sought after by enthusiasts after his death and were soon scattered all over the country. Okay, so the camera in all three games the projector in the second and third game, and the stone radio in the second and third game are all linked back to Asuo. That's pretty cool. An old camera called the Camera Obscura. It was designed by the man by the name surname as you. As you. Asuo. Ex. To photograph images of spirits and ghosts. Wait, hold on. You're telling me that you is probably his is probably his descendant? But what was the inside of the camera doing in the manor? Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. So you is a descendant of the guy? That's crazy. The old projector from the house I saw in my dream. It was developed by Kunihiko Asuo, who lived in the second half of the 19th century. It uses the technology of the camera obscura to show the supernatural images of another plane that cannot be played on normal equipment. An old radio that was left that was that was in the loft above Yu's room. According to an old book left in the same place, it's a crystal radio made by Professor Kunihiko Aso for communicating with the other world. A reaction with a special crystal makes it possible to hear words spoken in the past and the voices of ghosts. Aso. Could there be some connection with Yu's family? Yes, I, I guarantee you there is. That dream I had yesterday. Okay. Shit, there's a ghost, there's a ghost. Where, where are you? There's some fuckery going on here. Where are you? Cat, the cat. Did you hear that?
I think the cat's upstairs. I think the cat's scratching at the door. Hang on. That's not the cat. It's raining again. There, there's some mind fuckery going on here. Who's in here? I promise you, you're not gonna like what happens when I kick your ass. There's nothing up here, okay. But there's definitely some fuckery going on downstairs. There's definitely something here. Something's fucking with me. We're going on a ghost hunt, boys. Girls. Non-binary pals. And she just fell asleep here. I wonder why Miku f Nothing here But there has to be something here Hibby Cat even get in there is kind of funny. Is that stain getting worse? Wait, I think that stain's getting worse. Hang on. I think that stain's getting worse. I think that stain right there is actually getting worse. Okay, I think that's enough for tonight. Is that another stain? Please tell me there's a shadow. It's a shadow.
All right, we're gonna save here and call it for tonight. I like this game. I like it a lot. <laughs>